Muhammad. You may be an atheist or an agnostic, or you may belong to any one of the religious denominations that exist in the world today. You may be a communist or a believer in democracy and freedom. No matter who you are, and no matter what your religious and political beliefs, personal and social habits happen to be, you must know this man. He was by far the most remarkable man that ever set foot on this earth. He preached a religion, founded a state, built a nation, laid down a moral code, initiated numberless social and political reforms, established a dynamic and powerful society to practice and represent his teachings, and completely revolutionized the worlds of human thought and action for all times to come. His name is Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he accomplished all these wonders in the unbelievably short span of twenty-three years. Muhammad was born in Arabia on the 20th of August in the year 570 of the Christian era, and when he died after sixty-three years, the whole of the Arabian Peninsula had changed from paganism and idol worship to the worship of one God, from tribal quarrels and wars to national solidarity and cohesion, from drunkenness and debauchery to sobriety and piety, from lawlessness and anarchy to disciplined living, from utter moral bankruptcy to the highest standards of moral excellence. Human history has never known such a complete transformation of a people, or a place, before or since. The Encyclopedia Britannica calls him the most successful of all religious personalities of the world. Bernard Shaw said about him that if Muhammad were alive today, he would succeed in solving all those problems which threaten to destroy human civilization in our times. Thomas Carlyle was simply amazed as to how one man, single-handedly, could weld warring tribes and wandering Bedouins into a most powerful and civilized nation in less than two decades. Napoleon and Gandhi never tired of dreaming of a society along those lines established by this man in Arabia fourteen centuries ago. Indeed, no other human being ever accomplished so much in such diverse fields of human thought and behavior in so limited a space of time, as did Muhammad. He was a religious teacher, a social reformer, a moral guide, a political thinker, a military genius, an administrative colossus, a faithful friend, a wonderful companion, a devoted husband, a loving father, all in one. No other man in history ever excelled or equaled him in any of these difficult departments of life. The world has had its share of great personalities, but these were one-sided figures who distinguished themselves in but one or two fields, such as religion, thought, or military leadership. None of the other great leaders of the world ever combined in himself so many different qualities to such an amazing level of perfection as did Muhammad. The lives and teachings of other great personalities of the world are shrouded in the mist of time. There is so much speculation about the time and place of their birth, the mode and style of their life, the nature and detail of their teachings, and the degree and measure of their success or failure, that it is impossible for humanity today to reconstruct accurately and precisely the lives and teachings of those men. Not so this man, Mohammed. Not only was he born in the fullest blaze of recorded history, but every detail of his private and public life, of his actions and utterances, has been accurately documented and faithfully preserved to our day. The authenticity of the information so preserved is vouched for not only by faithful followers, but also by unbiased critics and scholars. Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not only preach the most wonderful values, but also successfully translated each one of them into practice in his own lifetime. At the time of his death, his teachings were not merely precepts and ideas straining for fulfillment, but had become the very core of the life of tens of thousands of perfectly trained individuals, each one of whom was a marvelous personification of everything that Muhammad taught and stood for. 
at what other time or place in relation to what other political, social, religious system, philosophy, or ideology did the world ever witness such a perfectly amazing phenomenon? Muhammad, peace be upon him, before his prophethood, was known as the Sadiq and Al-Amin, meaning the truthful and the trustworthy. People during his time, except the most arrogant unbelievers among them, believed him as such. He is also known to have always told the truth, even when he joked with his companions.